Welcome to Figor 8055 TC Thread Repair Cycle Demo Video. Thread repair begins by introducing a previously fabricated thread to the CNC lathe controlled by the Figor 8055 TC. Chuck part to the lathe. Now rotate part to any desired starting angle for thread pickup. Now engage threading tool to the root of any existing thread. Let's now take a look at this process on the actual 8055 TC control system. From the main display of the 8055 front panel, press the graphics icon key. For demo purposes, we will show picking up a thread root using the simulator X and Z hand wheels. Carefully and precisely, position the threading tool to the root of any existing thread. Once thread root is found, retraction of the tool on the X axis is allowed while maintaining the Z tool position to the thread. Pressing the escape key on the main panel will bring us back to the main display. Pressing of the F6 key on the main panel will launch threading cycles. If after launching threading cycles you are not on level 4, press the level cycle key from the main display to adjust cycle level. At the beginning of thread repair cycle, the top right icon, highlighted in red, shows choice for outside or inside threading. Pressing of the half key on the main front panel will cycle through available choices. Pressing of the enter key on the main front panel will save settings. To begin entering data to our cycle screen, let's look at our sample thread specifications. Our major diameter is 2 inches. Our thread length is also 2 inches. Our threads per inch, also known as TPI, is 8. Our thread depth per side is 0.125 or an eighth of an inch. Let's begin by entering our X initial starting point of 2 inches. Our Z initial starting point will remain 0. Our X Finish dimension will remain the same as the X initial of 2 inches. Our Z finish dimension will be minus 2 inches to reflect the length of thread cut. At this time, let's preview all of our available options for defining different threads. Again, use the half key on the front panel to cycle through available choices. We will choose to define our thread as free with threads per inch. Threads per inch, 8. Total depth, 0.125. End of thread distance, also 0.125. Z root coordinate is where the tool was positioned on the Z axis to the root of the existing thread. This value can be taught to the CNC by pressing the recall key on the main display panel. This is known as the teach-in feature. Root angle is the current spindle orientation angle at the time of thread pickup. Again, this value can be taught to the CNC by pressing the recall key on the main display front panel. At this point, we will add safety distances of 0.25 inches for both X and Z axis to add additional boundary to the starting positions of both axes. S max is an RPM limit for spindle not to exceed. Choices for spindle clockwise or counterclockwise are set by choosing the appropriate icon.
choices coolant on or coolant off, RPM of spindle for threading, tool number that we've already preset up for threading, depth of cut per pass of threading, threading depth of cut constant or decrementing to a minimum increment, thread entry, flank, zigzag or radial, last pass threading on or off. All threading entry fields are now complete. At this point we can return to simulation graphics to simulate our thread cutting. Press of the cycle start key on the front panel will execute in simulation mode only. Once simulation graphics have completed and thread cutting is proven, the CNC can be set to execution mode, cycle start can be pressed on the front panel, thread repair cutting on the lathe can begin. This concludes our demonstration video of thread repair cycle.